What's going on guys, welcome back to the second part of this tutorial where we implement and visualize the RRT path planning algorithm. In the last video we built the obstacle generation side of the project and in this video we will define some essential methods related to adding and removing nodes and edges, random sampling and obstacle detection. Before we begin, please subscribe to the channel, it's free and you can always unsubscribe if you don't like the content. As we saw in the part 1, the RRT tree grows constantly by adding new nodes based on random samples. This is done using the method addNode from RRT graph. This method takes three arguments, the identification number of the node and its x and y coordinates, and then insert the x and y coordinates in the x and y lists using the id n as an index as we explained in part 1. To remove a node we just provide its id to this method node remove and it will just pop the x and y coordinates from the tree as shown here. Adding edges is simple, you just provide the child node and the parent node and the method add edge will insert the parent of the child in the parents list. So the child is used as index and the parent is stored as element. Removing an edge is done by giving the method remove edge the index of the child. And using this line self parent pop n will cut the relationship between the parent and the child nodes. Sometimes we need to extract the latest node added to the tree or to know the exact number of nodes. So we will define the method number of nodes. This method return the length of the x list and that obviously equals to the total number of nodes. We need also to measure the distance between two nodes, so we define this method distance that will take the IDs of the nodes and extract their x and y coordinates from the x and y lists. And calculate the Euclidean distance between them as shown in this equation. Px and Py are the square differences between the nodes x's and between the nodes y's. The equivalent code is shown here. As we said before, the algorithm generates random samples from the map. To achieve this, we define this method. The random sampling is done using the method random uniform that generates a number between two values. We choose the map borders to be our limits, that means from 0 to map width for the x-axis and from 0 to map height for the y-axis. Once the coordinates are generated, we return them for later use. Of course, any newly added node to the tree must pass a test. Is it located in the free space or not? So we define a method for that. The ID of the newly added node is extracted like this. Number of nodes minus 1, because the node's IDs start from 0, so the last one is the total number minus 1. The X and Y coordinates are extracted and the obstacles are copied into this temporary list. We are now ready to test the node. So inside the while loop, the obstacles as we said in part 1 are rectangle objects, will be extracted from the list and popping them one by one, and if the rectangle collides with our node, we will remove the node from the tree and return false, that means that our node is not free. However, if the node loop is over with no collisions found, we return true. Now another method that performs a similar job is cross obstacles, and as its name suggests, it finds out if an edge, a connection between two nodes, crosses any obstacles. The way this works is similar to testing one node. We copy the obstacles and inside the loop we extract them one by one to see if they collide with our edge. But how do you test a line for collision? One way is to use interpolation to create intermediate checkpoints between the two nodes and check if any one of them collide with our obstacle. In code this is done this way, in a loop in range of let's say 101, u equals to i over 100. This will be used in generating the checkpoints as we see now. The x and y coordinates of the ith checkpoint is calculated like this. 
x1 by u plus x2 by 1 minus u. And similarly, the y coordinate is calculated. Now, if the current obstacle that is being checked collide with our ith checkpoint, we directly return true. The edge does cross an obstacle at least one. And if the while loop is ended, we return false. Now, if you want to connect two nodes, this becomes very easy. Just extract the coordinates and use the method that we just created to check the connection edge between them. If it does collide, then return false, and if it's collision free, you add the edge by providing the node n1 as a parent and n2 as a child to the add edge method that we created earlier and then return true to indicate that the process finished successfully. Let's now test what was done so far. The RRT file is gonna be our test ground until we finish the RRT base file completely. In the last video we initialized some variables and our classes, we also created and drawn our map. Now inside an infinite loop, we create a random sample and we add it to the tree, after we calculate its ID. Then we test if the added node is obstacle free, if so, we draw it in the map using pygame draw circle giving it the map and the color and its coordinates extracted from the tree also the node radius and thickness are provided apparently we have some bug in rrt graph it's in here the append method in add node have two arguments it's supposed to be just one after dealing with this we go up to the node radius variable and change it so we can actually see our node we run our code now and observe. The nodes are created randomly in the free space only. This is a good news. All we have to do now is testing the edge creation. So we add an edge between the node and the one before it. And if it does not cross any obstacles, we draw it using the draw line method from Pygame. and we run the code. For the first look, this seems like chaos. However, if you observe closely, you see edges being created between random nodes and does not cross any obstacles. And that's what we want. We are getting closer and closer to our target. We will continue our work in the next video. So don't forget to smash like and subscribe if you do like this content.